Hey everyone, Trey here. It's the first week of uh, August and it's currently about 80, almost 90 degrees and it's really humid. But I decided to try to use this as an opportunity to get out and test my climbing method. And also since I decided to start self-filming this year, uh, get my cameras out, play around with them, uh, get a couple arrows on target and just see how everything works together. Uh, I'm doing a lot of experimenting here for myself. Um, so we're just gonna see how it goes. All right, we're at the base of the tree right now. Here's how I carried all my gear out. This is the Eberly Stock Bandit, which is a, uh, they consider that part of their everyday carry. It's a smaller pack. I don't have the, uh, the specs in front of me about the, how big it is, but I guess, as you can see out of the outside is the uh, out on a limb big bob um, with the ultimator attached to the bottom. And I've got a three-step amp steel later I made uh, inside of that. So you can see it, it attaches to the front pretty well. Um, then I had to get a little creative at the top to try to make it a little easier to keep it uh, from moving around on me. So that's just an Amsteel whoopee I made uh, where I've got it clipped into the the Molly webbing on the top. Um, got my knee pads attached to the outside just to save some space inside. And there's still a little room to throw, like maybe a light jacket in there uh, or a couple of base layers if needed. So at this point, we're gonna pull this off the pack. I'm gonna start getting this on the tree and I'll see you at the top. I'm up here in the tree and that was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, something I've learned is that I've got to take off this chest harness because it just gets in the way. Just, I was fumbling around with it there, trying to get to my Mad Rock, trying to get my bridge uh, adjusted. Uh, couldn't really see what I was doing, so I was trying to work underneath it. So I think next time I try to climb, this is going in the bag, and then I'll put it on when I get back up to the top of the tree. Um, still trying to figure out where I'm putting everything. Uh, I'm running two cameras right now. I've got my Vixia HF R82 here on my right side, and I've got a cheap Amazon GoPro um, here to get a uh, second angle. Um, right now I've got my phone attached to my tether to do the interviews. Um, so we'll see how this audio turns out as well. But Climbing, I made three moves to get up here. Uh, I'd say I'm probably to my feet, 16 feet, which I really don't hunt that high anyways. Um, so definitely sweating. Like I said, it's hot today. Um, but I'm going to show you how I have everything set up, maybe play around with the cameras, get a little film, um, and then throw a couple arrows at my target over here. Uh, I ranged it already. It's at about 27, 28 yards. Um, so we'll just see, see how it goes. So here we have it. So there we have my cheapo Amazon uh, GoPro. I've had this for a few years, so I figured I'd try to put some use to it. What I ended up doing is making a little Kydex uh, mount to attach a battery bank onto the back side of it so I can pretty much just run that in a loop uh, just so it's always running so I don't have to think about it. Uh, we'll see how long that battery lasts. Uh, but I've got like four or five extras that I can take with me the first few times out until I get a real feel for it. And I've got that mounted here on my, um, my his strap. Uh, need to adjust kind of where it's at but for the first time uh, we'll just see how the footage turns out. Uh, over here I've got my bow mounted with a uh, Genesis um, bow holder. I bought this late last year and I don't think I had a chance to use it at all. Before that I was just using, I made a little Kydex loop there. I was pretty happy with it, but I figured I'd try this out. Right now for my bridge I've got the uh, Amsteel guys, um, his whoopee sling, and I like the bridge. I just don't like the... Uh, it's really hard to adjust. Like if you can't one end um, loosen it up, um, which is a big deal. Like I struggled for probably five or 10 minutes trying to get that loosened up. So I'm gonna have to find a different bridge. Um, I think if I was in a traditional saddle hunting setup where I was climbing three sticks and then had my lineman's belt up the whole way and I could lean into it and use two hands before I attach it to my tether, that would work a little better. Um, I've got my auto lock here. Um, that's super important to have, especially when you're using them uh, a 
fillet device of any kind. Um, got the uh, muddy arm here for my camera arm. Um, and I'm running a Canon Nixia HF R82. I picked that up off of eBay a little while ago. Um, yeah, it looks like I need to change some power settings on that. Running a Comica mic. Um, haven't really had a chance to play around with it yet. Uh, that arm's a little stiff. Um, so I think I'm going to have to grease it up a little bit, try to get it running a little smoother. But it, at least it doesn't make any noise, doesn't creak, doesn't squeak or anything like that. Um, still trying to figure out where to place my pack. Normally in the past I would hang it right where that camera arm's at, or a little higher. And it just seemed to get in the way, um, especially trying to get that arm mounted. So I may have to try to, to change my setup a little bit, maybe have that base in my pocket or on a pouch on my saddle so I can hang the... Uh, the mount before I do hang anything else in the tree. Um, so I'm going to try to figure that out a little better before opening morning. Uh, I've got my quiver, which is bungee corded to the back side of the tree. Uh, not super happy with that, but I haven't figured out a better way to do that yet. Um, so if anyone's got any suggestions, I am all ears. I'm going to go ahead and try to throw some arrows, uh, arrange the target. About 27, 28 yards. Uh, so I'm going to set my pen to about to that. I still do shoot a single pen just because it gives me a little bit of extra confidence. Uh, even though, yeah, it's an extra step. But. that shot too. I haven't, I haven't shot at the saddle yet this year. I haven't hardly shot at all this year. A little bit of pin float there. My shoulders are smoked for some reason. I'm trying to climb this. I was getting tired, like my shoulder. I need to spend some more time shooting out there in the yard. All right, so there we go. I shot six arrows. No, one was low, at least. I had a couple float around on me more than I liked. But first time I've done this this season before the season, so got more time to practice. Like I said, it's only the first week of August. So I got here in Indiana, season opener is October 1st. So I've got a little bit of time to get some more you know, shots in, get some more repetitions, um, kind of get this figured out a little more. Made it on the ground, uh, had a bit of an interesting uh, trip down. So only the second climb I've used with that mad rock. 
And the first time down, it felt super controlled, super easy. Uh, this time I got about halfway down and it's like, I just must have pulled too hard on that lever and I started to drop. Uh, luckily, because I had a backup for my mechanical device, my auto block or my auto lock caught me about two feet off the ground. I think my feet just tapped the ground as I, as I hit, but that's what it's for. Um, you know, it burned my hand a little bit. Uh, that rope was pretty warm, so I'm gonna go over it really closely, make sure I don't have any slick spots now from where it overheated. But uh, made it down safely. Um, so I have to do a little more practicing, trying to find the sweet spot, maybe do a little more controlled uh, drops at a lower distance. But I'm hoping to get a lot of time out in the woods this year. Um, last year, didn't hunt nearly as hard uh, because in the past, I burned myself out pretty quickly. So last year I told myself I was only gonna hunt on days that I really wanted to. So as a result, you know, I took it easy. Um, but I think because of that, I'm so much more excited about this year. Uh, and, and I just, I can't wait to get up in a tree and try to, you know, get my hands on a deer. But anyways, stay safe out there and uh, good luck.